All right, so this is our patient bringing in the operating room. They're laying down, getting ready to induce. They have a little bit of atelectasis in the right lower lobe. This is pretty common for your inpatients who've been in bed for a few days. So we're going to induce. So when we induce, what we are essentially doing is giving them 100% oxygen with nitrogen washout, and we're eliminating their negative pressure ventilation and causing immediate atelectasis. So there we've induced. We're giving them a couple bags with a couple breaths with our bag. Assuming we're giving some pretty big volumes, I'll give 600 cc's. So as you can see, we recruit and then de-recruit. Recruit and then de-recruit. So this is going to cause cyclic atelectatic trauma. So if we wanted to follow current evidence base, we'd give 6 mLs per kilo to prevent volume trauma and enough PEEP to prevent cyclic opening and closing of our alveoli. And we'll implement some type of recruit maneuver, whether it be a sustained pressure of 30 to 40 for 5 to 20 seconds or stacking our PEEP until we recruit. Once we see that we're getting greater volumes and pressure control or lower pressures and volume control or our spirometry shows that we've recruited, we'll come back to a PEEP level that maintains that. For these particular lungs, even as compliant as they are with nothing holding them from recruiting, it still takes 15 centimeters of water to even recruit this left lung here. And we still maintain a little bit of right lower lobe atelectasis. So Cindy, tell me what you feel with every breath. Describe what it feels like. It feels like Rice Krispie Treats. I so you feel the alveoli recruiting and then and collapsing. And then going right back down. So now feel this lung and tell me if it feels the same, because this lung looks fairly recruited. There's definitely less here in this left lung. All right. And as you can tell, there's no wrinkles in there on this side. We fully recruited those alveoli. Well, we started with a little atelectasis down here. It's still atelectatic. And that's common. If we had atelectasis, we had collapse, it takes a greater amount of pressure to open a collapsed lung than it is to over descend an already open one. So, and this shows you 400 tidal volume is adequate for ventilation as long as the lungs are recruited with enough PEEP. And again, this is 15 of PEEP with 400 tidal volume.